Hey, you, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. You look like you're feeling much better. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. Yeah, good to hear. I'll see you. Yeah, he's a good guy. We're gonna take good care of him. Unlike, uh... LaCroix, I trust Mercurio. He takes care of those who take care of him. LaCroix is only in it for himself. Okay, I need to, uh, stay hidden. Yo, Pally, over here. No, 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 you don't see anything. blocking that way. I can't go that way. That door is sealed. This door is open. Okay. Oh, man, there's a guy here. But he seems like he's not paying attention. Let's get out of here. Yeah, no surprise. Cops everywhere. jump. Okay. Ah, oh, a key. Okay. Records room. All right, I can get into the records room. Where is the records room? That's the, uh, I think I know where I am. Oh good, there's a cop. To the left. Oh, that's blocked, I 
can't get in there. Alright. Uh, where to go, where to go, where to go. No, I don't think I can go there. That's not gonna work. feed on these thin bloods. I've got to get out of here, get some blood. Get into the sewers. creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted How to... How did you find me here? I'm in your debt. I want to help you. Oh, no. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. Oh, I have a I'm goal. not weirding you out or anything, am I? That's hard to do these days, uh, but you look much better. Only because of you, what you did for me. Here, I I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. Uh, it can be useful to you. Maybe she I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Of course, Heather. I would love to have you stay with me. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise. I already I'll regret money, it. I'll get you things, everything. But, uh... I don't want to be important to you. Wait at my place. I can't have you following me around. It's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your oh, place. A and when you do come back, Good. I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. How did I ever do without you? I'll see you later. I've said all I need to for now. I have to admit, that was a fun task. Hey, you got any more work for me? I still want to set you on fire, but... 
I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone on board was massacred. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Blood all over the floor, handprints, probably opened from the inside. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering mollycoddles filing out. Yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders, a worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I... Yeah, this is the smallest violin in this the world. This abrupt appearance has put the Primogen on Playing the Playing my heart bleeds. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Yeah, certainly. Is that all? Yes, for the moment. You know, your demeanor thus far bears similar characteristics to those that rise to the top of this organization. Stay that course. Yeah, thanks. Uh, about Grout. Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. This sounds like fun. Yeah, I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. Yep, bye. Yeah. To go explore a new place. It sounds like fun. You know, I really, really need to up my fighting skills. I kind of stink. Uh, man. I need to, like, get better at melee. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Yeah, tell me about yourself. Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. Been fighting this fight since the 40s when we kicked out the can. I was new to it all. That is a long time to fight. A lot of people from those nights still around. And some of them are. They're just not anarchs anymore. Is it worth it? To have to constantly fight to keep LA? That's a stupid question. Not really. It doesn't come cheap. At any time, you gotta be ready to defend it. Not what are you fighting for? We have. You must have learned a lot in that time. Any advice? All right, this might help you out. I use guns, but most vamps get up close and personal. In that case, thing to do is to let them come in for the attack first, and dodge it or take it in the gut. Then use your blade to deliver the death blow. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive. Maybe I'll have time. Nines. But I doubt it. You're not a bad guy, but uh, you are a little possessed. Why do you want to keep fighting? 